Let me show you a pop-up widget that you can add to your website that really has me blown away. All the editing features that it provides you and the fields that you can implement on these pop-up widgets is kind of amazing. So let's go check out this lifetime deal right now. Hey, what's up everyone? This is Classful and you can add any of these pop-up widgets to your website super easily without coding knowledge. That means that we can just go ahead and edit these to our liking and go ahead and add them to our website. So let me just show you this spinning feature that I've added to my WordPress site here. And there's this little pop-up button that I can click on it and it's going to open up a wheel of fortune here where I can just add my email really quickly and test my luck if I'm going to get a coupon code. So in this case, I have the option to win a 5, 10, 20% discount depending on what I get. So I got a 5% coupon there and here it is. That's the pop-up widget that we can add with Classable. This right now is a lifetime deal and it starts off at $49 for the lifetime deal. That means that you're going to get these terms when you buy license tier one, which is $49. Don't forget, there's a 60 day money back guarantee. So go ahead and test it with Calm. And if you don't like it, just go ahead and refund it, right? Now, $49 deal gets you 100,000 page views per month. Now, if you have a lot of traffic on your website, you will have to look at tier two or three, even if you have one domain. So do consider that. In this case, you get access to unlimited active widgets, two domains, two users, and no classical branding. But again, you have this limit here, which is the page views. So maybe one domain has too much traffic and this won't cut it for you. So you have to take a balance there and kind of decide if this is the right fit for you or you need to jump into license tier two, three, or all the way up to five, which gives you five million page views and you get unlimited users and no classical branding too. So those are the plans available for this lifetime deal. Pay once, use forever, right? Link provided in the description. Now, before I show you how to use class one, edit one of these pop-up widgets, let me show you the sponsor for this video, which is Hostinger. So if you're planning to use this for your website to add Classable, I do recommend that you check out their shared hosting plans, which are right here. Go ahead and go down here and you'll find the shared hosting plans that are really affordable. In this case, let me show you this one, which is the business plan, which is $3.99 a month, but the price is going to drop even lower with my coupon code. Now, once you're here, Hostinger is going to ask you how many months do you want to pay in advance? I recommend 48 months because you lock in the lowest price, lowest renewal price, plus you're good to go for 48 months. Now, once you're here, go ahead and add your my coupon code, which is SAS Master, and apply it. SAS Master and apply it. The price is going to drop even lower. So now it's $172 with 37 cents for four years already paid. So that's a really low price for this shell hosting plan. That's a really low price for this hosting plan. So do consider using my coupon code. Okay, so let's go into Classable. The first thing you're going to do in Classable is obviously head on over to the dashboard. And we're going to add a new widget in this section. You have two options. You can start from scratch or use template library. I have no reason whatsoever to start on scratch because it's just more time consuming. I would use a template and then go from there. And one of the things that really amazes me from Classful is the details that they provide you to edit these pop up widgets. So let's just say that uh, let's go ahead and use this one. I like this one. I have the option to view the template, see how it works. This is a successful message. If someone's already subscribed, they'll get this message. If there's an error, they'll get that message. Okay, let's use this template and it's going to take us to the actual editor. Now, I haven't seen another pop up widget creator out there that provides you so many details to actually editing, editing every single one of these aspects. We can change the images. We can change the text. We can double click on this and change what it says. I can change colors, fonts. I can make it bold. I can, I can change the background spacing, etc. And it's just amazing what all you can do here. Now, aside from that, you got elements that you can add to this pop up widget. So it's like a builder that you can make even more robust. So, for example, if I want to ask for the first name too, well, I add it right here. And now it's going to ask for the first name. And these fields are available right there just by dragging and dropping inside of here. So on the right, you're going to get a, an editor for each one of these sections. Now, when it comes to the actual coupon system for this case, I click on this element twice and it opens up the reward system. So that means I can, I can go ahead and edit the rewards here and select how what percentage are going to get this discount. So for example, 60% is going to get a 5% discount. You saw my test, I got a 5%. The chances of me getting 10% is 30%, 15%, 10%. Now I can change these uh, equations here so I can get more chances or less chances to get a discount. So for example, if I add another reward, I can do so here and the percentages change. So for example, I'll do two for this, one for this one, because it's going to be 20%. And I'll just change the coupon here to whatever is going to be a random there. 
whatever whatever it's going to be it's just going to be random and it's a percentage of discount that i'm going to get so it's just super easy to customize this to modify the chances of someone winning these percentages that's why sometimes you go to these sites and you run the wheel or anything that's going to be there and you don't always get the top percentage because that's how it's going to be based on it's going to be on percentages here of chances of winning so that's how it works right now as i mentioned before i like all these editing systems the styles the columns all that is going to be editable and there's also the editing feature for the rest of the message so if it's going to be successful i can also edit this section by changing images fonts styles etc doing that all right already subscribed message again we can edit this and the error message all of these can be edited with this feature so i really love this part about classful and once you're good to go you can go ahead and test this widget out by clicking on the eye right here let's go ahead and check it out and i'll add my name which is george and i'll add a random email let's go ahead and spin it there we go and dang we got a five percent discount which really sucks but there you go that's how you're going to test this out with this feature now once you're good to go you like it you go ahead and save this and let me show you the features that you're going to get for the rule base now in this case by default this is already set up but i would highly recommend that you edit this and you set it to your liking right so for example the display frequency if there's not going to be a limit you can set this to do not limit or you can do only once once per session or once per x amount of days months etc when to display when conditions are met or immediate if you just want it to pop up in the beginning go ahead and select this if you want to use some conditions select that or when any of these conditions are met so for example let's use this one if the percentage of the page read the page by 10 percent, it's going to pop up right and you have several available options here for example if visited three times a page not active on the page or exit intent this is going to pop up so just test these out, see what's going to work for you. But I love that you get all these options. When to stop displaying. So it could be after closing one time, just go ahead and don't display it again. Or after closing three times, then, you know, someone is fed up and, and they don't want to see it. Or after subscription. Then you have the annoying safeguard. You can set this up. You got the to whom? New visitors, show to all devices, show on desktop only, on mobile only, on pages. Sometimes you want to disable mobile, just a little heads up there because the widget is too big or it's just too i don't know maybe you don't want to display it on, on a desktop or on mobile on pages you want to add rules maybe some pages you want it to display some you don't maybe you don't want to display it on the home page well you can add a root here a rule to exclude it in location so if you want to geolocate this you can do so too you got the launcher click base if you want to enable this the html element click base if you want to enable that too and the api base once you're good to go let's hit next then you have your integrations so you can start in Clapso or you can add an integration and these are the integrations available right now i do wish that they put webhooks if we have webhooks we can do we can add this anywhere we want and use any automation system out there if not we would have to use zapier for the webhook so do consider that once we're good to go we can go ahead and publish this to make it live wherever we have added our in this case, plug in on WordPress or you added the script. If you haven't added the script, you will find it over here, which I'll show you a bit in a bit. If you need to edit the triggers again, go ahead and click here. If the submits, the integrations, the submits is for when you ask the email, you'll find them here. The integrations and the analytics for this specific widget here. And if you add, you need to add the script, go ahead and click on script here. And you have these available options at your domain here. Using a custom site by adding code, you can install the WordPress plugin. You're going to install the add-on on shopify or use google tag manager for any of these options to add it to your website now there's also the leads option here which i think is pretty much basic you actually don't view the leads you can only download the csv so you can add that to your email marketing service or something like that and there's also the a b testing now you first need to create the widgets and then you can use the a b testing now this is a great option if you want to see what works best because maybe you want to test colors, wording, or type of widget. Maybe you want to spin the wheel. Another one is, is little boxes with prices. Another one, whatever, whatever you want to test. You can decide the percentage of the frequency that these are going to pop up one or the other. In this case, it's just one and one, 50%. All right. That's for the A-B testing. Now, once you're good to go with the widgets, don't forget to publish them. And if you need more widgets, just go ahead and create them here. And do check out all the library of templates that they have available. I think it's a really extensive library of pop-up widgets. You can see the little scroll bar on the right. I mean, there's a bunch of these already created. 
I think Classable did a really great job on creating this pop-up widgets ready to use and the builder that lets you modify these pop-up widgets. So I definitely recommend that you check out Classable just in case that you need to add these pop-up widgets to your website. I definitely think it's a good option because I do like this editing feature. So if you want to check it out, link provided in the description. And if you want to grab your hosting plan, don't forget to use my coupon code, which is SASMaster. And that's a wrap for Classable.